This reverend sister killed over 3,000 people all in the name of the Virgin Mary and the rapture. Not many of you have heard about the Kanungu massacre, one of the deadliest religious massacre of the 21st century. Mid Credonia wearing day, a Uganda reverend sister who started a religious cult in the early 90s. She claimed that the Virgin Mary appeared to her and instructed her to establish a movement. She called the movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments of God. She, with her fellow leaders made up of the flocked Reverend Fathers and Reverend Sisters, predicted the world would end in 1992. As a result, lots of their followers sold off most of their belongings, their properties, their lands, pretty much all of their valuables, and brought the proceeds to the church leaders while preparing to go on rapture. 1992 came and gone, no rapture. The members started complaining. So they came up again and pushed the date to 1995. When the war did not end in 1995 like they predicted, they lost a lot of followers, with many others demanding for the return of their properties and money. The church leaders came together and had meetings due to countless disturbances from members about the promise of rapture and a better life in their seed heaven. Credonia came up again and said the Virgin Mary have assured her that it will end for sure by December 31st of the year 2000. And her reason for the delay in rapture according to Credonia was because she is giving people enough time to repent and it pretty much make lot of sense to the members. Most of them even started sleeping and living in the church and waiting for the rapture to take place. By this time, she has already started killing her members gradually, especially those who are more likely, you know, mounting pressures on her concerning the supposed rapture. In March of year 2000, something terrible happened. She treated her followers to a feast with lots of foods and drinks. They said they were preparing for the rapture. The next day after the feast, she locked up about a thousand members, mostly women and children, in a hall. More like telling them it symbolizes the Noah's Ark. If the rapture happens, anyone inside the Ark will pretty much be raptured. And they were like, wow, they can't wait to go on rapture. Meanwhile, there were already gallons of petrol around and within the hall, with some spilled on the floor. It's unclear why the members were too blind to see these signs. As a matter of fact, it was said that each member were given a matches or a lighter to hold. They got dressed up after feasting and lined up towards the hall. And they were told that this is where they will be when the rapture happens. And it is going to be like that of the Noah's Ark. After they have all went into the hall, someone from the outside sealed up the hall with nails and wood. The doors and windows were all sealed. Some sources said when they were inside and everywhere was dark, someone felt the need to turn on the light, you know, to see something at least. Other sources said the officiating uh, reverend fathers and reverend sisters were the ones who instructed the people that when they turn on their matches, the Holy Spirit will take over and they will go into heaven. So when they turned on their matches to go into heaven, they literally went into hell. And that was it. The fire was so bad that some people's cups got exploded. The stench and the flame from the fire could be perceived and seen from afar. It was a hell on earth. It was confirmed that Credonia and Joseph Kiwetere were not in the fire. They pretty much escaped. Meanwhile, before Credonia became a reverend sister, her personal story will blow your mind. According to her sixth husband, Credonia loved money more than anything in this life. They both ran a successful bar that soon folded because of an alleged murder that took place in her bar. After her business crumbled, she divorced her husband and joined the Roman Catholic Church. In just two weeks of being a reverend sister, she claimed to have had a vision of the Virgin Mary. She took her vision to this man, Joseph Kiwetere, a very well-to-do religious man who was also a strong Catholic. She told him that the Virgin Mary have chosen him to take her and another reverend sister 
into his home and lead the movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments. That was how she started the movement that led to a mass religious massacre of over 3,000 worshippers losing their life.